Ahoy Pirates, Japan's chief. Wherever you are in the world, let me show you my reality living in Japan. Explore through my eyes how much I spend daily as a digital nomad. Dive in with me. Welcome to Osaka, to the Ikigai Metaverse. I will give you a full breakdown of how much I usually spend on a weekday while working, meeting friends and having fun. Currently, I live in Osaka, but I lived on the same expenses in Sapporo, Tokyo and other places in Japan. I show you later in the video how to find all the cheap places and locations. Hiyo everyone! In the morning I usually eat two scrambled eggs and create an avocado and tomato toast, as well as an iced coffee. I buy all the ingredients in a cheaper supermarket. Believe it or not, if you calculate all my supermarket purchases, the whole meal will cost me around 300 yen. I am slow in the mornings, so no jacuzzi for me this time, but a quick shower. Electricity, such as for laundry and dryer, as well as water and cleaning, is included in the rental price. My shareholder's rental cost me approximately 70,000 yen per month. That makes 2,258 yen per day. Today I want to work in a cafe and explore Osaka a bit. I usually cycle everywhere within the 50 minutes range. I bought a bicycle and a lock for 17,000 yen and I'm using it for 3 months. That makes 183 yen per day. I explored some cute shops on the way but didn't buy anything. Especially I fell in love with the mystical vibes of the terrarium shop. I mean, look at this beautiful handcraft. Sometimes I casually hop into manga stores or convenies and pretend to read Japanese. But I ended up just buying a drink for 100 yen in a convenie because I forgot my water bottle. Today I spent 100 yen for parking my bike, but sometimes you need to pay for a whole day. Or for free. For example, at big stations or underground parking lots. Look at these cool bicycle escalators. Today I want to explore and sit in a cafe while working a bit. Unfortunately, not Detective Conan or Pokemon Cafe. <laughs> but one of my favorite cafes for digital nomads. The coffee cost me 300 yen, with an awesome view over the Osaka River and Rose Gardens. On my way home, I bought a bento from the company, which cost me 410 yen, and I ate it in a beautiful garden nearby. I also filled up my water bottle for free at a filter machine. Sometimes I use the park fountains for fresh water. And yes, in most places in Japan you can drink tap water. I had plans to visit a botanical garden when it's dark in the south of Osaka. 
So I dropped my bike at home and I took the subway for 210 yen. The space was magical. I enjoyed it so much and it only cost me a 1,800 yen entrance fee. I explored all different artworks from the bird sounds reflecting with lights in the art, the floating lamps, and magical tiny eggs. Well, and then I kind of got lost in the big egg forest. <laughs> I felt like running after Totoro. Chotomate, mate kurasai! Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, thread the like button if the answers have been helpful so far. If I wouldn't have gone to the botanical garden, I usually do free stuff, such as visiting galleries or museums, or do other activities like acro yoga with a meetup group. Or I'm going skateboarding at the river. On the way home, I took the subway again for 210 yen. And used my bike to cycle to the north. In the evening, I met some of my friends for dinner and we went to a running sushi place in the mall. Everything on my table cost me around 2,500 yen. Oh wow, and I was so full after all the plates. <laughs> Then we played some of my favorite games in the arcade. Of course, Mario Kart for 100 yen. And 200 yen for playing. Suddenly, we had the glorious idea to go to one of my favorite gay bars and sing some of my favorite anime songs while hanging out with the local people. The sake cost me 1,000 yen, and it's the biggest cup i ever seen. Well, then it was time to go home, to live my ikigai again the next day in Japan. I spent a total of 9,671 yen for the whole day. In conclusion, I usually spend around 60 euro per day, including fun activities and parties. Sign up for free to receive a full money breakdown guide in Euro and US dollar and find all locations shown in a video for saving money in Osaka, like cheap supermarkets, where to buy a cheap bicycle and more. Link in the description. If this video is helpful for you, a subscribe would mean the world to me in finding my real audience. Check out my other videos about living as a digital nomad and guides for Japan. Still here? Check out the Ikigai merch. See you in the next one. Cheers and live here, Kigai.